You know, there are a lot of questions about can you run two inch PVC and will that work? You know, here's an example. We're pulling up to a job. We're going to work on the channel drain and they have run two inch from the catch basin. You just have to see this and this will answer your question. Hey, good morning. Chuck here at Apple Drains. Today we're putting in a yard drain. Over the years, we've had hundreds and hundreds of comments asking this question. Why can't we just run two inch pipe, whether it be from the downspout or a catch basin or a French drain? Well, take a look at this video and I think you'll learn and understand why. Okay, here is a great example of two inch PVC that someone tried to use to discharge the water. And this comes from a catch basin underneath of the pool channel drain. The homeowner told me that it just stopped working. Everything was working okay for a little while, but then it just stopped working. So we have to explore the area first, dig all this up. And it is a difficult area to dig. You can see all the bushes here, all the rocks and roots, but we're gonna open this up and let me show you what happens if you use two inch PVC. Exploring an area that you don't know what's down there. So you have to take your time and this area is tough. Not only is that retaining wall in the way, but you can see all the stones that he had put in there and it's all overgrown, but you can kind of see what's going on. You see, there's a piece of pipe, but there's actually, it's actually coming from the catch basin, which is right by the pool deck. And you can see where I located the pipe on the other side of the wall. Now I just need to remove enough of this where I can get to this and work on it. At this point, it kind of dawned on me. I wonder if all the downspout drains are actually reducing and going to two inch as well. And if they are, we need to replace all of this. And sure enough, when I spoke to the homeowner, he said he ran two inch almost 200 feet from the downspouts and these catch basins out to the natural area behind the fence. So basically we're going to reroute our entire system and replace everything here. I know it's tempting with the cost of PVC today to run two inch pipe, but it is just way too small to handle your roof the catch basins, your pool lanai, all of those things, two inch just won't work. Take a look at this. He started off by running four inch PVC, then he added the backwash from the pool. And then it reduces to two inch and you can see the difference of the pipe four inch versus two inch and this pipe extends almost 150 feet down to the natural area do you think that could possibly work and not only that but the roof drains also reduce to two inch imagine all of that water I think it's kind of funny that people talk about how great PVC is and that, you know, it never gets roots. Take a look. And what's worse is that this is two inch. So any debris that would get down in your two inch line would really restrict the water flow. But look at those tree roots. This is solid PVC. And someone might comment, oh, well, they didn't glue it but you can see the primer still on the pipe. So I'm cleaning out the trench, ready to lay the pipe, and of course, there's always more problems. I found this giant root, which we need to cut, then we can lay the pipe and connect it to the main line, cover it up, and we're done. So hopefully, this video showed you why you don't want to run two inch. You know that I get so many comments asking that question, couldn't we just run two inch? And of course you could, but this is the result. And I know that you think you're gonna save money, especially with the cost of PVC today, but you will not save money because it won't last. 
so what's the best pipe to use for a rainwater drainage system? You know, I've made a video about that and it's not schedule 40 PVC. That is not the best pipe to use. If we were going to install a drain in your yard, we would give you two choices. One is corrugated and the other is thin wall PVC or SDR 35. Okay, from that existing catch basin that's collecting that channel drain, we had to dig out his old piece here. You can see this contraption that he had going on here. It worked, but two inch, just not enough. <laughs> so we changed it over, solid PVC, and then it tees into our main drain, which now runs you know, all the way out and under the fence to the natural area. Okay, I'm gonna let Chuck take you through the end of the video you know Chuck's taking over the business here in Orlando and he does a great job so we'll let him take it out and I think you're just gonna love his videos as he begins to produce and edit and then finally post he's got lots of video ready to come out so stay tuned and give Chuck some support when his videos do come up on YouTube I think you're gonna love them And I heard Chuck over here talking and, oh, that looks really good. You put those stones back together extremely well. The Hacienda wall, that looks really good. I heard Chuck talking over here, telling you what to do. He's going to be making some great videos and holy cow, look at, look at what he's doing. It looks so good. So you can see where the plastic was laying, how much of a clean cleaner area it created compared to where there's no plastic at all. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.